going to go to my brother's garage he works at to get my tires put on my car. Okay, so I'm like, do I talk about this or do I not talk about this? But I really want to be like open it up front with you guys and like let you know like my struggles and my reality, I guess. And I don't want to sugarcoat anything. Monday, I had was struggling with hemorrhoids all day. Like the pain. If you've had a hemorrhoid, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you're lucky. I assumed it was due to like the lack of fluids I had taken in. Like could have like I had looked it up. It's like dehydration can cause hemorrhoids. Body body blah. So fast forward to today, which is Thursday. So now again, I'm dealing with hemorrhoids. The next day. My sleep schedule has been all messed up. Um, I didn't wake up till 11 today. Yesterday I woke up at noon time. I'm drinking my premier protein for breakfast to give me a little extra boost in protein because it's got 30 grams. My protein, my water, my calories, everything's been off. Y'all, I just made a bomb ass buffalo chicken salad. Buffalo chicken salad, some light ranch. It's hitting the spot for them cravings of buffalo chicken. Yes. So happy. It tastes so good. Hey y'all. So it's a uh, Friday. I haven't checked in. I haven't checked in once, I think, in like quite a few days. So I thought I would jump on here and say, hey. Um, so yeah, so I've heard people talk about getting their um, period, like right after surgery, even though they weren't due. And I didn't think that was going to happen to me because I literally had my period right before my surgery. I didn't really regular with my period and then today I finally got my period which is five days late today's the 15th usually I get it around the 10th usually it's the 9th but like the 10th is like for sure um and it lasts like a couple days it's not very heavy so today I started my period five days late obviously I did not think I was pregnant um I think I did like three or four pregnancy tests at the hospital before I, I had blood test done and then the day of I had another blood test and then I also had a urine test because they just want to obviously make sure to be super safe that you are not pregnant. Be fluid. Can we talk about fluid? Fluid is like the most hardest thing for me to get. Like I get maybe 30 ounces a day. I don't know how people are getting 60 to 70 ounces. Like I don't get it. Really don't get it. When I, before surgery, like my bad habits, I only had drink like a drink with meals. Unless it was like soda or something, which obviously isn't good. Um, I wasn't very hydrated. I didn't have fluids on me at all the time. If I got a medium iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, I would drink it for like six hours. Tank has slept like this since he was a baby, like on top of Griff like this. And he loves being under the blankies. So I just think it's so funny. He's three years old and he still does it. But yeah, no, um, my sleep schedule has been so fucked. Um, before surgery, I mean, I've always kind of throughout my life had times when I'd have a really messed up sleep schedule. Like, I don't know if it's insomnia or what. Like, right now I feel tired, right? I'm like, I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'm gonna go upstairs and lay down. And and that's what I do every night. Like, it's only, what, maybe midnight right now? I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna lay down, and I'm not gonna fall asleep until 5, 6 o'clock this morning. And then I'm gonna wake up at 1 o'clock. I wanna get back into a point where I'm waking up at, like, 8 in the morning. Now I'm just sleeping through my alarms. When I first had surgery, I wasn't sleeping through my alarms because... I'm a very extreme person. Like, I was told I couldn't sleep for more than eight hours because I could get blood clots. I also had an injection, the blood thinner injection, I needed to take every 12 hours. So I had to make sure I was up to take my injection and to not get blood, blood clots. And my injection was also so I don't get blood clots. Because if I got blood clots, it's very severe. And like my father got blood clots and he died. So blood clots to me equals death, which means in my brain, I couldn't sleep more than eight hours and I had to get up when my got alarm got up or I could die. Hi guys. Let me turn my air off. It is Sunday, September 17th. So yesterday I was one month post-op. Um, I'm still just finishing my core power from this morning. It's 3.45 right now. Um, I just take forever to sip on things. And I don't know if that's normal, if I'll get better. Like, I'm only supposed to take a half an hour to an hour to, like, drink things like this. But I need the protein and I need the fluid anyway. And, like, I can't drink it in a half an hour. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just
just, I've never been somebody to like sit for things very fast. I've got a folly scarf on. I did like fall makeup today because like in my mind it's fall. It's like, it's actually kind of warm today, it's 75, but it's been like mid 60s this week. So like this is like the warmest day it's been. Um, so in my mind it's fall and if I'm gonna go sit on some bleachers at a football game, I wanna look cute. I've like obviously like I've really realized like even though I'm only a month out post op, like I've already gained so much confidence. Um the shirt I'm wearing I normally I used to wear but it would like I, I was too big for it but it fit. So I was like a sausage stuffed in a casing, so like it would always roll up or um, it didn't sit quite right on my abdomen. Like I felt like it was always a little too high. Um, whereas like today it feels like normal. Like I don't feel like if I put my hands up, it's gonna go <laughs> um, um, I was started editing last week's vlog. Um, and I did notice, I'm gonna put that in here because um, I don't know if you guys noticed, on week two's vlog, I put that it was September 14th. It was August 14th, not August. Or September 24th is what I put. It was August 24th um, and I didn't realize that until I started editing week three vlog and I had to put uh, August 30th and I almost put September and then I went, shit, did I put September on the last vlog? And then I looked and I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> so um, if you watched it and were like, wait, how did it go from September 14th to August 30th? It didn't, <laughs> or August 24th. I keep saying 14th, that was before I had surgery. Um, it didn't, I just got the months mix up when I was editing and um, made a little oopsie. So uh, there's that in history. Yeah, she's got four, four. My name is Brie and I am one month post up from the gastric bypass surgery and today I had a follow up with my surgeon and I got to get the glue removed from my incisions so I kind of just wanted to show you guys one month later what my incisions look like. So this is what my incisions look like right now. Excuse the dirty mirror. So I have this one here, this one here, this one's my largest one and then this one is right here. Um, right now they're just like little pink scars. Obviously I think they're gonna lighten over time. Um, but yeah, that's what they look like one month post-op. My surgeon did say I'm doing exceptionally well. She said I am losing a little bit faster than expected and than um, the normal um, does. She says most people are lose about half a pound a day and I'm losing at this rate about one pound if not a little bit more a day. So she does say she's gonna expect my weight loss to slow down a little bit. And she did give me a little warning, like if you go down the scale and you only lose like a pound or two a week, it's normal, your body's gonna slow down at some point. So I'm glad she kinda gave me that heads up. But I am super happy with my progress so far for only being one month post-op. Hey guys, so today is September 20th, 2023. I am five weeks post-op today. Um, so this is where I end the vlog, but I did meet with my dietitian today and she moved me onto stage five foods, which means I can eat um, basically anything. I can't have raw vegetables for two weeks and I can't have um, starchy foods like breads, pasta, crackers, um, rice, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm super excited for this stage. I made lunch, I got sausage, egg, potato. Um, with a bunch of seasonings and some like zero sugar maple syrup I sprinkled on there and cooked it in. It tastes delicious. Um, I, she does want me to be eating now that I'm stage five, 800 to 1,000 calories a day, which I still struggle to get the 600 in. But I think now that I can broaden my horizons in like what foods I can eat, it's definitely going to be easier to get the 8 to 1,000 than it was the 600. Um, also protein. Minimum 60 to 80, but she really wants me to be at 70 to 100 grams of protein. So I'm going to be working on getting that. Um, 
today I weighed in at, I feel like this is the first time I'm actually saying it to you guys because usually um, I forget. Um, so today's weigh in, I at five weeks, weighed in at 290.2. I'm officially 100% out of the 300s. And every time I feel like I'm just waiting to see 300 pop back up on the scale and it hasn't. And I'm pretty sure I'm not, I know I'm like completely out of it. So it's crazy. Um, so that means in the last week I've lost 4.2 pounds, which my surgeon did say she was hoping that my weight loss would start slowing down because I'm obviously losing a lot. Um, since surgery, I've lost 28.8 pounds, um, in five weeks and um, the very low calorie diet, I've lost 44.5 pounds since that. So that was seven weeks ago, but I'm in the vlog. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all everybody that's subscribed. Like, honestly, I kind of made this YouTube just to keep myself accountable. And like, so I can go back and see my journey and like, remember where I came from and how far I've come and like, you know, what struggles I've had and it's just cool to look back at those kind of things. Um, like already on my TikTok, I went back to like my first, one of my first videos and I was like, oh my God, look at my face. Like it was like my face already looks so different. Um, but yeah, so thank you. And if you're new here and you want to subscribe and follow my weight loss journey, feel free to hit the button, um, press the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. And if you guys are on a weight loss journey yourself, whether it's with weight loss surgery or just not and you're just doing it your own way, comment below because I would love to follow you. I really am trying to like, you know, get a community here and like everybody can support each other and build each other up. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Look at me sometimes, like all you want